Wait, all right. All right. I'm about to get this reaper. I'm about to get this reaper. All right, got him. All right, time to go. I'm about to use my perk. Gotta find spot to hide. Gotta find spot to hide. All right, pull in. All right, I see two. I see two. I see two though. Oh! Where's the third guy come from? Oh, crap. What's up, guys? This is your boy J here. Yeah, it's your boy J. I, gotta, I gotta work on my catchphrase in the beginning. But yeah, it's Cookboy J here, bringing you a new commentary. And this is about to be about Black Ops 2. So, right now, I've received some new information about Black Ops 2. And it's about zombie mode. So, they have added some new modes to zombies called um, Transit, Survival, which is like the classic um, one that you play in Black Ops 1 and World War World 3. And that's basically it. It's three new game modes that they have added to the game. So, um, Transit. It's um, an original game type that acts um, as a primary mode for players. So it's the new primary game, primary game mode for zombies. So it's stuck in the open world. It's like an open world thing and everything where um, players get to travel and everything. Um, it lets you use a lot of strategies and everything. And it's a more bigger world than the original zombie maps and everything. So it's sort of like an open world um, type zombie mode and everything. That's what I think it is. Um, so you get to run into different places and everything like that. I don't got that much information on, um, transit, but, you know, let's talk about the other game modes. Um, another game mode that they, um, added to zombies is survival, and it's the classic form, um, player game mode that they, um, have from the, um, from the uh, other, um, Black Ops game, the Black Ops 1 and everything, so it's pretty cool, you know, it's a full play co-op, um, experiment, experience again. You know, you got waves, rounds and everything, pack a punch and everything like that. So you know if you ever play Black Ops 1 um or World at War, you already know what the um classic zombie mode is. You know, kill a certain amount of zombies in one round and advance to the next one. Try to survive as long as you can and try to get the highest scores. So another game mode that they added is grief mode. And it's up to eight players and the concept is it adds a more competitive twist to the game. Um the, um, this new game mode, Grief, um, has two teams of four and everything. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. I don't know. I don't like this two players of four people. It's kind of stupid now. Like, I thought the eight players zombie mode that they talked about earlier um, this year was basically like, you know, four people. No, eight people get to um, play together and survive. But you know, it's more of a 4v4 type thing now. You know, I don't like it. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out when the game comes out. It doesn't sound all that good, but you know, it's all right. Some more information that we have on Black Ops 2 is that they improved the matchmaking system. So, um, using the multiplayer system, the game attempts to um, match plays faster than it has in the past. Um, they added custom games, so now we get to have a custom game mode um, for zombies and everything like that. So you know, you get to customize um, what rules you want to have the game, some shit like that. You know, and you get to go to pack punch machine. Um, it's basically the same leaderboard system as before, except with the three different um game modes. You're gonna have like three different um leaderboards for um the three game modes and everything. So, and they have extensive stats, which is mean the stats is more elaborate and more um clearer for you. So, remember how in um Black Ops One when you play zombies, at that it showed the time that you played, and it'll be like three seconds and stuff like that. It would be glitches and everything. You know how you make it up to a high round, like say I made it up to round 21 today, and then tomorrow I play and make it up to round 31, but they didn't update the leaderboards. They um they fixed the leaderboard list and everything, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Um So what do I think about the new zombie mode um that's coming to Black Ops 2? Um I like everything except for grief mode, you know. Grief mode isn't really the kind of thing I was expecting to be inside zombies. I thought the eight player zombies were basically gonna be eight people, probably like two different areas. You know that um, what was it? Shina Numa. It was some other map where it had um, you was playing with four people, two people were spawning one half of the map, and then the other two were spawning the other half of the map, and you guys would have to open up doors and get on the spot. I forgot the name of the map, but you know it was a pretty cool map. I thought it was gonna be like that. You know, four players on one side of the map at that four plays on the other side of a really huge map and everything and that's how you guys are made up but you know that's not how it is 
But you know, I'm really excited for Black Ops 2 Zombies now that's coming out this year because I'm a really huge fan of zombies, you know. Me and my friends will always play zombies like every Friday, you know, always have fun. Because, you know, I have school and everything. Me and my friends have school and everything. So, you know, we didn't really play zombies in, over the weekdays because, you know, not a lot of people put sound on in the weekdays and stuff. So, you know, every Friday we will play. I will have friends on Xbox I will play with. I will play, like, with my friend First or Solo, Carlito and all them. Shout out to them. They really beat that zombies. Every time we would play, we make it up to, like, the high 30s and everything. Um, Who else I play with on Xbox? I should play more. I'm static. You know, them two people are beast also. And when I play on the PS3, I play with my friend Zaruto and um, Carl. For those of you who don't, who don't know Carl, Carl has his own YouTube channel. It's called Carl the Dominator. I might leave a link to his channel in the description. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, I got him in the game right now. Carl pony me right now. He got the double, quick double kill with the Reaper. Yeah, I'm playing with him in this session. You know, I had a full party going in this session. But, you know, every time I play Zombies, you know, it's really fun. It's really exciting. And you gotta have good awareness when you're playing zombies, because you know, they might spawn everywhere depending on what map that you play on. And I think the one map that they messed up on on Black Ops 1 was kind of moon for the simple fact that um the map didn't have that much windows and the zombies could spawn everywhere around you. They could literally spawn anywhere if you using the um using the dome and everything like that. In the biodome. And it was kind of crazy, kind of hectic, so you know, you have to watch your back, watch everywhere and shit, you know. But it was kind of challenging, it was fun. My favorite zombie map of all time would have to be... Uh, I can't, it had, it's sort of a tie between the reason on um, Ascension, because you know, I had a lot of fun in Ascension. Moon, you really have to have skilled players to play on Moon, to play with on Moon, so you can make it up to a high round. Look at this drop shot, how are these two guys that, yo, I'm telling you. The drop shot is really fucking crazy once you master how to do it. Like, t I'm telling you, you have to drop shot. When you go for Moab, you have to drop shot because, you know, people will always find a way to kill you. You see, when I drop shot it there against those two people, I'll kind of throw it for aim. You see, I'm getting off topic right now. Back to Black Ops 2 Zombie. Um, you know, Zombies is a pretty fun mode, you know. I hope they don't mess up on anything like they did in Black Ops 2 with some of the maps and the terms of the spawn and everything glitches and shit. You know, I'm close to this Moab right now, I'm about to get it, kill this guy, you know, and I don't know how I didn't die by that stoke bomber, but you know, that stoke bomber is supposed to kill, but you know, now that I have specialist bonus, I have blast shield and the ballistic dash on, so you know, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to die from that, so you know, I'm getting pretty close, and there you go, I got the Moab, so you guys should tell me how you feel about Black Ops 2, you know, put in the comment section, what are you expecting from zombies, you know, are you going to get the game and stuff like that, you know, who are you going to play with and all that, you know, that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to, comment, you know, all that good shit. So, um, I'm approaching the end of this commentary, I'll see y'all later, so peace.